It's 6.30 and it's colder than a witch's teeth outside. Rainy as fuck. I'm gonna go see my mom in Mesa. snowed in several places here in Phoenix which is pretty rad although I haven't seen any snow except what's on the mountains up there I was gonna drive around or maybe hike up the superstitions but it's a it's an immobilizing 53 degrees outside and I don't want to do anything but eat noodles so I'm gonna eat some noodles I don't have the ingredients for noodles, so I'm doing this instead. Okay, I got a little bit more than I needed. I didn't, I didn't go overboard, somehow. I always do though, and I didn't today. God, I must be depressed. So tonight we're looking at this stuff here. Um, this is like a savory, crunchy hot sauce, uh, Szechuan style. Um, it smells really good. Um, so there's kind of a story to this. Like about like six months ago, I ordered uh, one of these from their website and it got like maybe 10 miles away from their warehouse and then it went back to their warehouse and then I got a delivery notice and I never really received my uh, Szechuan chili crisp. I just kind of let it go because I'm awkward. So, um, anyway, I decided I'd go for it again. I got some of this. I also got like their, uh, their spice mix, their mala spice mix, which I'm gonna be trying uh, out pretty soon. Um, and I also got their Zhong dipping sauce. I ate it with organic pizza rolls with chicken sausage pepperoni. Fantastic. So I'm gonna try one of the recipes that they have on their website. It's the five minute spicy Szechuan noodles. They also like say that you can put this on ice cream and I'm definitely doing that later. Um, I don't know if I have ice cream that's gonna be good with this, but we'll see. 100% down though. So for this uh, recipe, you're gonna want uh, Taiwanese instant noodles. These aren't Taiwanese, but you're gonna need uh, some of this here uh, uh, peanut butter. This is uh, Chin Kiang vinegar, except no substitutes. You're gonna need uh, sesame oil. Scallions, I'm pretty sure these are scallions. Fried garlic, but I forgot like this prepared fried garlic was a thing, so I have also some regular unfried garlic, which I'm going to fry, because you always need more garlic. And then soy sauce. I'm sure there's soy sauce in the house. Also, I got some backup noodles, just in case that the other noodles aren't good. Always, always buy backup noodles. Very important. If any of you were guessing that this pot was gonna boil over because I filled it way too high, uh, you win the grand prize. So Jackie had never seen uh, this fried garlic before. No, I'm never cold. Also, I've got one of these on. Do you want this? Kind of. You want it? A little bit. What do you think? What level of spice is this? I don't know. I'd, I'd recommend it. I think this is a five. Okay. Um, I'll take it. I gave her, I gave her a choice of, uh, on a scale of five to ten, 
because anything below five, I'm just not even gonna bother with. I mean, I guess it was my arms that were cold, so I don't know how good this <laughs> But this is spicy, so maybe it will heat me up. Mm. It's really good. I, I really like it. It's very simple, you know. Not a lot of conflicting flavor, you know what I mean? It's very hot and peanutty. I usually don't like peanut. How do you feel about this? It's not too peanutty. Really? Yeah. Whew. Girl approved. Girl approved. <clears throat>